you like preaching with signs and the Holy Ghost. Is somebody getting a rude awakening? There's somebody being quickening. When you come out of this service, you're coming out encouraged. You're coming out uplifted. You're coming out impacted. You're coming out with revival in your spirit. And it's going to be God and more God because the fellow ground is broken. Jeremiah says, break up your fallow ground and sow not among the thorns. Thought about this for a while, for about 60 seconds today. Thought about it for 60 seconds. And I began to realize within myself that if a farmer decides that he wants a tomato, he has the plant a tomato seed. Yes. Oh God, I'm preaching to somebody. Yes. Because I'm wondering within myself, what kind of seeds are you planting in this hour? Mm. Let me put it like this. The Bible says you will reap what you sow. Amen. God is not to be deceived. Yes. Oh, we'll shut up a higher. Yes. Can a man mock God? Mm. I feel like preaching to somebody. Because the problem is you've been sowing inconsistency and you want to reap continuity. You've been sowing negativity, but you want to reap positivity. You've been sowing ignorance, but you want to reap intelligence. You've been sowing hard words and angry discourse, but you want to reap love. You've been sowing the Bible declares and so not among the thorns. It's a few of you. The reason you've been barren, the reason you've been in famine, the reason you've been in Lack, uh, because of the foolishness that you've been sowing. Uh, if you want a good fruit, uh, you got to sow a good seed. Uh, don't you be half cracked, mad, retarded. Uh, ain't no way in the cotton picking, mother takes chicken world uh, that you can sow uh, a great God of coconut uh, and reap a banana. Uh, ain't no way in the world uh, you can sow a canep seed uh, and reap a mango tree. Uh, what you want, uh, you got to sow. Uh, if you want love, uh, you got to sow love. Uh, if you want money, uh, you got to sow money, your seed. You hear me and you hear me well. It never leaves your life. It simply leaves your hands and it soon exceeds you and it goes on over into your future to give you expectation, to help your anticipation and to give you an inclination that your breakthrough is only predicated upon the premise that you made a decision of releasing something in the earth. I want to ask you my brothers and